Hello everyone, in this video I'll be talking about GPU pass-through in Ubuntu 20.04. To get started you will need a processor and a motherboard that has VTD and VTX enabled if it's an Intel platform and SVM and IOMMU enabled if it's an AMD platform. Also, you'll need at least two graphics cards one of them can be integrated into the processor and the other one, any NVIDIA or AMD card should do. One caveat, the two cards cannot be exactly the same. First, let's identify the IDs of the GPU we want to use with our virtual machine. So let's open the terminal. Let's become a super user. And let's type in LSPCI-NN. Okay, so this will show us the ID numbers of our all our devices. Here is the GPU I will be using, a GTX 950. And for most, most of you, you will see something like this with uh, 01, I mean, dot zero and dot one. Uh, for uh, people who use the RTX cards, they will see dot two and dot three. What you really care about is only these two. The other two, Virtual Machine Manager will deal with that. So let's uh, copy this, these two numbers, these two IDs, and let's save them. So we don't have, you don't really have to save them. You can write them on a piece of paper and uh, just uh, type them in later when we need them, but I'll be saving them. So this should be good enough for now. Uh, I will make another video later that details the IOMMU groupings and other things like that you have to be careful about when uh, choosing a graphics card for your virtual machine. But for now, this should be good enough. So let's get started on the actual GPU pass-through. Okay, so first let's install the required packages and you can just copy this line from the description as I did. So enter and yes. So these will be things like uh, libvirt and some other stuff, the virtual manager, all the required stuff. Okay, and uh, now I like to reboot the host just in case the kernel got updated or something like that. So I'll do that. Okay, let's reopen the terminal. Let's become a super user again. And now we'll need to edit grub. So let's use nano or vi for those who like that. etc default and grub. And let's edit this line that ends in splash. Okay, and uh, so we'll type in Intel or AMD, depending on what you use. AMD underscore IO MMU equals on KVM dot ignore underscore MSRS equals one and VFIO dash PCI dot IDs equals. And now let's go and uh, let's find our file where we saved all our IDs and let's just copy and paste them. So let's copy this, let's paste it, comma, no spaces. Let's copy the other one, paste it again, and in nano, Control O, 
enter control X to exit and now update grab okay let's reboot okay let's open up our terminal let's become a super user again and let's type in lspci-k and here are our two parts of our graphics card and both of them are using the vfio-pci kernel driver so that's complete next step would be the virtual manager now let's open virtual machine manager and let's minimize this let's create a new vm we'll use a local medium and i already downloaded uh, windows image from microsoft's website so you can just google that windows iso let's give it 8 gigs of ram four processors for me 40 gigs is enough to demonstrate it works we'll need to customize it uefi let's pick the first one doesn't really matter so let's delete the tablet because we'll be using an actual gpu display spice and you can keep them install it with the built-in virtualized graphics card and then delete that and add your actual gpu later it's up to you okay so now let's add the hardware let's find the one we passed through earlier or we captured with the vfio driver Okay, so the two parts, if you have more than two, you can add the other ones too, you might have to. Uh, and uh, we need a USB controller for the mouse, or you can just pass through a mouse, a spare mouse you have, and a keyboard. And to pass through an individual USB device, you go right here, USB host device. Pick your uh, mouse and your keyboard. So let's start with the mouse, hit finish, and then find your keyboard. And hit finish again, and you should have your two USB devices added to your virtual machine. In my case, I'll be passing through an entire controller, and I already know it's in its own IOMMU group. So I'll be able to do that. Again, you can watch the video I already made that details IOMMU groups or I'll make another one later and link it. So, okay, finish. Uh, I will uh, actually boot options. I will make it boot from a CD-ROM for now. Uh, and uh, that should be it. I do this just in case I have to reboot the machine, which I often do. Okay, so I'll switch to input now and begin installation and you might want to press random keys on your keyboard like spacebar because windows will pop up with that message that you need to hit any key to boot and you might and that message might not be visible while the machine is booting so it might be a good idea to just kind of like getting into bios okay so now we see this and what we need to do is uh, shut down the virtual machine. We'll go right here, force off, yes. And what we need to do, go here, boot options and change it to say that disk, apply. Okay, next we need to open uh, our terminal and type in versh, edit, and the name of the virtual machine, in this case, Win10. And pick your editor. 
one will go with nano and now what we need to do is let's go to uh, arch linux wiki and let's copy from the error 43 section let's copy this and let's paste it between the hyper-v tags and then after the hyper-v tags we need to paste this kvm section so let's go to where this ends paste and Control O, enter, Control X, that's done. And now we can start the virtual machine up again. So let me change the input and let's start it. Okay, so we are in Windows and uh, as we can see, it's automatically searching for the graphics driver. So hopefully we'll get that going on its own. And there it is. If not, you can download it by yourself. It's still installing. Okay, so NVIDIA control panel just installed. Let's launch it. And Let's change the resolution. Apply. There we go. Full 1080. Let's check the control panel. And here is our 950. So that's it for Ubuntu 20.04. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.